What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. And of course today we got the official reveal of the zombies for Black Ops Cold War. And if you have not seen the trailer, I will link it down in the description. It was around uh, 8 minutes long. It was a pretty in-depth trailer talking about all the different things you can expect with a new zombie story. That kind of links into all of the other zombie stories in past Black Ops games. Uh, the story is supposed to be set in the 80s where a CIA-backed uh, international response team is going into a World War II bunker that has not been searched in a long time. But also there will be a Soviet-led team that is doing the same thing. So you're going to have a lot of different characters to pick from to play. Uh, it looks like it's, it's going to be a pretty neat idea. Like I said, it's set in the 80s, but they're kind of discovering this World War II bunker. During the uh, kind of reveal event, or you know the, the video itself, the trailer, it was pretty cool looking. You know, it was all kind of bright and, and neat looking at times. Of course, that dark, scary look at, at the same time. But it was overall, it was just a very cool looking uh, trailer. Uh, they also introduced some new ways to play. It says the return of favorite perks like Pack-A-Punch, but they're also going to do things with weapon rarity. It says in addition to the return of Pack-A-Punch uh, machine to transform your weapon or all weapons will now have a rarity associated with them. The higher the rarity, the greater, greater the damage output and the attachments for the weapon. For the first time, this will allow any weapon in the game to be uh, really good in even later rounds. So they're saying, so really not going to have to worry about this a particular weapon you want kind of in the end game, in the end rounds. Uh, it says it also adds more variety and more fun and ways, you know, that you can get things from wall buys and, of course, the mystery box. Also, they talked about field upgrades. Uh, field upgrades as a protective ability that can add another layer of squad-based tactics. Charge them up by killing zombies, then deploy them in times of desperate need. Also, they said there will be equipment around the map. You can craft and find lethal, tactical, and support equipment. Lethal and tactical equipment are similar to equip, uh, equipment found in multiplayer like frags and, uh, you know, kind of so forth. The slot could be where you deploy grenade launchers, sentry turrets, explosive bows, and chopper gunners. All tools can deliver a massive power spike when your squad needs it most. Also, they talked about perks. Um... The return of the timeless favorite favorites like Juggernaut and of course Speed Cola. There's no longer a limit to how many different perks you can consume. So go ahead and crack open a six pack if you have the points to do so. So that's a different kind of spin on the way the perks used to work in older zombie uh, modes in some of the past Black Ops games. And last but not least, there's a thing called Exfil. It said instead of perishing to the horde, they will provide a new option to escape with your life if you feel overran. It says the whole squad is in trouble. You can now opt to exfil the undead combat zones via helicopter. All those zombie spawns will be dialed up to 11. You should expect to earn some rewards if your squad completes the final push to the survival, uh, you know, to survive and kind of get to that chopper and get out of that zombie area. This seems like a pretty cool spin on some of the classic things, you know, we have seen in zombies in the past. I know there's tons of fans out there that just love zombies and black ops. I mean, there, there's a whole community that that's what they look forward to year in, year out. Finding the Easter eggs, getting into the deep, long rounds. But now I think the addition of this x fill is going to be pretty neat considering you can get your team out, but also you're going to have to fight massive waves of, of and hordes of zombies to be able to do so. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Like I said, the trailer is linked down in the description if you guys would like to check it out. I thought it was a very good trailer, you know, kind of in-depth, showed a lot of stuff off, but of course also left a lot of mystery to exactly, you know, to exactly what Zombies is going to be in the end. Uh, I think they did a really good job with it. Like I said, it was very colorful, very bright at times, but also kind of creepy at the same time. So anyway, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the community Discord, and of course my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.